toy. <laughs> the toy. Oh my god, that's so fun. I'm yeah, so happy to be here. I love the color. Look at that. La, 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 la. Hi everyone, how's life and welcome to another one of my videos. Welcome to a new Disneyland Paris vlog series. I'm so excited about this one because I'm going to be going to Disneyland Paris with one of my friends who I've never been to Disney with and I believe it's one of his first times. In fact, I think it might be his first time as an adult to Disneyland Paris. He's not new to the Disney theme parks, but he hasn't been to Disneyland Paris in a long, long time. So yeah, it's going to be an amazing time. I'm actually currently at Lille station. Um, I'm taking the indirect route to Disneyland Paris today. So I started my journey at St. Pancras station this morning at around 11 a.m. was when my Eurostar left, departed St. Pancras, and now I'm just waiting for my train from Lille to Mar la Vallée, which is where Disneyland Paris is. So yeah, it was a little stressful this morning at the station. I thought my train was going to be delayed at first. Thankfully, it wasn't in the end, but that's why I'm only starting the vlog now, now that I've got a bit of time here in between my trains my next train should be in about 20 minutes time Lille station by the way this 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 way of transport to Disneyland Paris is such an easy way and definitely a cheaper way to do it than the direct trains I have a whole video explaining how to do this I'll leave it down below but it's a lovely station it's got loads of food areas if you want to grab yourself something to eat whilst you're waiting for your train but mine should be here in about 20 minutes time so let's go before we go though if you thought my journey was been stressful which thankfully actually ended up being quite okay my friend Anthony is actually flying from Newcastle from up north of England and his plane has been delayed by about three hours initially it was only a half an hour delay then he texted me and he was like now it's like an hour delay now it's two hours so I don't know when he'll get to Disneyland Paris I might have a few hours without him but it's a bit annoying as well because it's actually it was his birthday yesterday this is also kind of meant to be his birthday trip and so I've booked a dining experience for him for this evening a character meal at plaza gardens which i think he'll enjoy i thought it might be a nice surprise for him but now with his plane being delayed so much i don't know if he's gonna make it in time so i've been looking on the app to see if i can maybe change it to tomorrow evening hopefully it should work out tomorrow might be even a bit more relaxing for him considering his flight's been delayed about three hours now but we're still gonna have an amazing time we're gonna be in disneyland paris together for about three days we've got one full day tomorrow and then the next day we've got most of the day and then we're actually also going to be heading into paris for a day at the end of our Disneyland Paris trip. So make sure you're tuned in. It's been a few years since I've spent more than a couple of hours in Paris, so it should be a good time. The platform's just there though for my TGV train to Mar la Vallée. Got my suitcase here and my backpack. Traveling quite light for me. <laughs> Just like that, I am officially inside Disneyland Park here at Disneyland Paris. You can see the wonderful 30th anniversary entry sign over there. The time is 4 p.m. My friend Anthony, bless him, he messaged me, I want to say about 15 minutes ago, saying that he's finally boarded his flight. His flight ended up being in total four hours late. Apparently, they have provided him with some free meals, at least, you know, to try and uh, compensate for the huge delay that he's unfortunately had to cope with. But he's excited. He's still in good spirits. Um, he should hopefully get here at around 6.30 p.m. though. Put it this way, originally my Eurostar was actually going to get to Disneyland Paris later than his flight. So lesson like this is crazy it's weird that i'm already here i didn't plan to be here two hours before him but it's fine we're gonna go inside the park and have a look i did also leave my luggage my little suitcase at the luggage storage area at the entrance of the park which you can do if you've got an annual pass like i do the highest level of it it's free which is obviously a big big bonus um if you don't have an annual pass i think you can pay to leave your luggage there but it depends on how busy they are what i noticed though is that they've actually blocked off 
the area right next to luggage storage area where you could actually come through so that in itself took a while because I had to go there get rid of my luggage and I had to come back to the main entrance to come inside the park that's because of what they're trying to do with the Disneyland Hotel it's under renovation at the moment and has been for the past couple of years and so it just depends on which part of it they're trying to renovate I suppose we've got the railroad going through the train Disneyland railroad which goes through the main street station here I absolutely love it speaking of trains the trains from Lille to Mala Valley was all right actually it only takes about an hour the reason I didn't speak to you on the train was because it was quite packed and I was actually sat next to somebody so I didn't want to disturb them um, um, but yeah, it was nice and easy. As I said, I've done this journey plenty of times before. But oh my god, I can already see the wonderful, beautiful Stevie Beauty Castle here in front of me. And it truly looks phenomenal. Main Street USA is just, oh, here in Paris especially, I think is absolutely gorgeous. And whilst there are loads of clouds in the sky, I feel like we're going to have a good few days here in Disneyland Paris. Like I said, I've got about two hours until Anthony hopefully gets here. Let's hope nothing bad happens anymore to his journey. So I think I'm going to go and eat something because I am quite hungry. It's 4 p.m. and I really haven't had anything to eat yet apart from a little coffee that I had this morning. So I think I might head over to one of my favorite new quick service restaurants here with their change of menu, Akuna Matata. But before we do that, I can see that people are waiting here at Main Street USA. So I presume either Dream and Shine Vita is about to start or it's already started and it's going to be coming back. Oh. Dear friends, Let's all smile bigger, open our hearts, and believe in our dreams. Alors, êtes-vous prêts? Tous ensemble, rêvons, et le monde s'illumine. What good timing. So now, are you ready for the ride? Are you ready for the ride, guys? It's time to dream and shine brighter. Today. I'm wearing my new spirit jersey for the first time. These were released a couple of weeks ago. I do have a whole video about that as well if you want to check out the new, the latest merchandise when it comes to the 30th anniversary. But I quite like it. I'm excited to be wearing it. Also, no ears at the moment because I stupidly left them in my suitcase and of course my suitcase is at the little luggage area. So I'm in the park now. I'm just going to have to deal with it without ears for the next couple of hours. Once I meet up with Anthony, I'm going to wear them and come back in the park. One of the coolest features of this park in the Sleeping Beauty Castle at Disneyland Paris is that they've got these water fountains in front of it and they can do so many cool shows and elements with it while Stream and Shine Writer is on. But I am now heading into Adventureland as I mentioned. I really hope that Hakuna Matata will be open. I haven't actually checked. The app, unfortunately, the official Disneyland Paris app isn't the best when it comes to telling you what times, you know, the quick service restaurants are open. And I didn't, I didn't want to go to the other side to check the board because the show is going on, so too many people. So we're just going to hope for the best. If not, there'll be something else to eat, I'm sure. Well, we've got a Kuna Matata restaurant here. The doors are closed, but 
apart from that, there's nothing really to say that the actual restaurant is closed. It says you can go in to pick up your mobile order. So let's let's hope for the best. Please, oh, fantastic. Oh my God, this is amazing. Not only is it open, it's also quite empty at the moment because it is about 4.20 p.m. Not peak time for lunch or dinner. So yeah, a couple of people are here, but for the most part, it's gonna be amazing. So it's not even a really need for mobile ordering. I can just order with an actual cast member. Well, that took no time at all. I've got my food here in front of me. I've also got a really lovely corner table because the restaurant is pretty empty. Like I said, there are a couple of people here, but for the most part, it's, it's not a lot of people. So loads of places and spots to choose from, which is brilliant. But I don't think I've ever actually sat here before. Look, there's an S. Very cool. And then here we've got like a little bird. Honestly, the theming, I have been a Matata and they're playing the music as well from The Lion King. I love the theming and I always have loved it. But the menu was, it just never was my favourite. That I really, since they changed the menu a couple of months ago, it's become one of my favourite places to eat. And I'm hoping the quality will still be the same. So I went for the chicken, like I said, menu number one, uh, which is the Yasa chicken. Uh, it's like a chicken on the bone. I think there's like a thigh piece, a couple of thigh pieces with a lovely sauce, some onions in there and some rice. I loved it the first time I had it. I really hope I enjoy it this time as well. And it's a pretty big portion. Like, look at that. Look at that. That is a lot. It smells delicious as well and I also decided to go for the sweet potato fries on the side because this restaurant at the moment is the only place in this land Paris where you can get yourself sweet potato fries and it's nice to be different and I enjoyed them again the last time altogether my meal with my annual pass discount came to 16 euros 40 with the menu of course you also get a soft drink I went for a bottle of water so yeah I've got my food here in front of me very much excited about it honestly I am hungry, <laughs> Lord have mercy. And don't worry, I'll still be eating later in the evening as well once Anthony comes. I'm trying to figure out what to do about this Plaza Gardens reservation because it's for 7.30. Currently it's 4.30 in three hours. And Anthony's actually, he's not meant to actually get to the park until about quarter past 6 p.m. And then we're gonna have to go to the hotel because he needs his tickets. He doesn't, he doesn't have an annual pass. He needs to collect his tickets from the Santa Fe, which is where we're staying. Sorry about the noises. But um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough time, so. We'll see. I'm thinking I'm going to have to just cancel it. I have managed to book another reservation for the same place tomorrow. I wanted to do it today on his like first day here, but I think it might be too stressed anyway. Maybe tonight we'll just grab something, again, a quick service later, before the fireworks or something, depending on what he wants to do. And then tomorrow, I'll surprise him. Pardon? Hello. How are you? Good, you? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, let me just have some of the chicken and the rice here. It is delicious. This is the quality of quick service that Disneyland Paris needs. It's similar to what you would get in Disney World or Disneyland California. This chicken is one of the few quick service places I was saying is on Paris. Like I said, that has something that is genuinely delicious, in my opinion. Something different as well. It's not your regular hot dogs or burgers or chicken nuggets, which you see everywhere. And I'm not saying those are bad. They're fine if you really want that sort of food. But Disney's meant to be about things that are different. And this is a good portion, reasonable price, and tastes lovely too. So I'm going to enjoy this. And big shout out to the cast members here as well. The cast member who took my order at the little counter, she said she recognizes me from the videos. She was French as well. We were speaking in French. And she was like, yeah, I watch your videos. And I was like, that's so cool. It's just amazing. Right, we are out of Kuna Matata restaurant. That was a really lovely meal, actually. I very much enjoyed it. I'm also quite full now. I also had a text from my friend Anthony about five minutes ago saying that he has now landed in Paris, Charles de Gaulle. So he should hopefully be here in Disneyland Paris in the next hour. I was gonna go to Paris because obviously we are in Adventureland and Paris isn't too far. It's one of my favorite rides, but I had a look on the app and it says it's a 35 minute wait. So I'm, I'm worried that if I go on it, I might then be too late to meet Anthony and I don't wanna make things even more delayed with everything that's gone on for him. So I think I'm actually gonna head out of the park because it's been a very short <laughs> journey here, but I'll be back, don't worry. We'll be back together, Anthony and I, in the next couple of hours. I'm gonna go and get my bag, my suitcase, um, head over to the hotel, which is the Santa Fe Hotel, that's where we're staying at, and then wait for him to get there. Hopefully I can even join the queue if there's a queue to check in, so that, you know, once he does get here, we won't have to wait too long. And yeah, should be a fun evening, but that food, excellent. Highly recommend it. On the way out, just look at the beautiful castle. It looks like the clouds are slowly but surely going away as well. I can see a little bit of blue peeking through, but this is one of my favorite angles actually of the Sleeping Beauty Castle here, kind of from the left-hand side of it. It's also a fantastic photo location. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should. The link is down below, it's just sound for God. You may have already seen quite a lot of photos of me from this angle with the castle. It tends to be one of my favorite spots if I'm wanting to take a photo with the castle specifically. People have already taken their spots for the parade. It's funny, sometimes that's how I know what the time is. So if I'm just on Main Street and I see loads of people waiting, I'm like, oh, probably close to 5.30 then because that's when Stars on Parade happens and 
that's what people are currently waiting for is if it's um the other one ready for the ride normally the, the places that people wait is going to be different so it's also not going to be quite as busy <laughs> because get ready for the ride the dream and Child brighter show happens multiple times throughout the day whereas uh, stars of parade the main parade here at this time paris at the moment is only once a day and it's always at 5 30. but um yeah i am like i said leaving the park also not really going through main street using one of the arcades because most people are on main street it's a busy time it's currently about like 10 minutes past five i think so don't want to <laughs> don't want to disturb anybody people waiting excitedly for the parade i also wanted to mention the beautiful gardens of wonder which again who knows what's going to happen to them in the next few months once the 30th anniversary celebrations officially end here i've really enjoyed having them here at central plaza and around the castle for the past few months on the way out in liberty arcade i thought i'd show you some of these beautiful glass figurines they've got going on from Arribus brothers some of them are very cool and unique actually that one's like a spider almost like halloweeny they've got some tinkerbell merch here that's the one I spotted initially that I was like, wow, that's quite cool actually. It's a uh, rose gold, not my colour, but um, it looks pretty. I can appreciate it. And I love the little silhouette of Minnie inside. It's very cute. You can also get that statue, the famous uh, partner statue there for 349 uh, euros. I was about to say dollars. <laughs> no, euros. We are in France. Then you can also get some tiaras if you wish to. If you're celebrating like a master birthday, you've got a little girl or a boy who wants to wear a tiara. They can do that anyway that's my face let's head out well i just collected my suitcase from the bagagerie the little luggage storage area and this is exactly where it is so the park would be there it's on the right hand side of it as you're entering the park in case you're wondering and the disneyland hotel honestly i am so excited for it to come back i feel like it's been too long whenever i look at it I almost don't even remember the feeling where you could actually enter it and it used to be like my go-to spot uh, before 2020 anytime I was at Disneyland Paris even when I wasn't staying at the Disneyland Hotel which was the majority of the times I just like the convenience of being able to go inside the lobby if you wanted a bit of a break from the parks maybe go upstairs to Cafe Fantasia get a hot chocolate like all of those things I haven't been able to do no one's been able to do for the past three years now and I don't think this hotel is opening next year either don't count on it, it's 2025 is I think when we're going to see this hotel open and as I'm heading into Disney Village I'm noticing all these walls up so many walls, even just from a few weeks ago when I was here, there's more of them up now so you can't actually, normally you should be able to go left easily but now we have to go all the way around if we want to go to the station okay so that is the way you need to go to go to the train station Manla Valley, this is where I obviously came from as well and then opposite the kind of one of the entrances is where you would need to go if you want to get the bus or any of the buses to any of the Disney resorts as well as some of the partner ones but I'm actually gonna go this way and go to the end of Disney Village because Disneyland Paris isn't very big when it comes to the hotels and the surrounding areas around it it's definitely not anything like Walt Disney World and while Santa Fe is like considered the furthest away Disney resort to the parks obviously not counting David Crockett Ranch because that is quite far you need a car with that one but um, yeah, despite that, it's only like a 15, 20 minute walk and I've still got some time until Anthony gets here and the walk is quite nice. I have shown the walk in my Santa Fe Tour Resort, a video which I'll link down below if you want to see it. But I feel like it's a nicer way to get there rather than, you know, hopping on and off a bus, waiting for the bus, might be packed. I'm just, if I can walk somewhere, I always, you know, choose to walk rather than take any other methods of transportation. Look at Cafe Mickey, or oh, what's left of it. It's so sad. This used to be one of my favorite restaurants here at Disney Village, but of course it is being changed into a French brasserie called Rosalie, which we don't know when it's going to open, but it's meant to be sometime in 2023. And just behind this cute Mickey podium thing, we've got a Disney duck. Very cute. He's just chilling there on Lake Disney, looking at me waggling his feet well, it's not really feet is it but um we've got sequoia lodge there panorama magic the balloon has just gone up actually newport bay is on your right hand side and then this is hotel new york the art of marvel and this is the way i need to go so if you're wondering how to get to santa fe from the disney parks this is the way basically you have to go past hotel new york which is on the left one of my favorite hotels here i loved it before the renovations and the changeover and even after now it's even cooler you know with the marvel theming look at newport bay as well newport bay club across the lake on the other side that one's probably the second prettiest uh, hotel here at disneyland paris after of course the main hotel the disneyland hotel 
Panoramajik is still up, Sequoia Lodge is covered with all the trees and then of course Hotel New York which also looks very cool like especially after they kind of changed it over to Marvel they repainted everything, changed the kind of colours a little bit as well but still kept the New York vibe of it which is brilliant, really love it. Let me know in the comments down below if you've stayed at any of the Disneyland Paris official resorts which one's your favourite and even if you haven't stayed in any of them or if you've stayed in a couple which one would you like to stay in? Which one's the one that you just think is the best one or the prettiest or the one that you think for you works the best? I'd love to know. For me, the Disneyland Hotel. <laughs> Honestly, the Disneyland Hotel, nothing can beat it. And I'm very lucky that I have stayed there a few times. I know that when it comes back in a couple of years time, it's gonna be extremely expensive more than likely because that's what happened with this hotel as well. Hotel New York used to be much more affordable before they changed it into Marvel. But hopefully I'll get to stay there again at some point. But having said that, I also genuinely really enjoy Hotel Santa Fe and Cheyenne as well. These are like the budget ones, the cheapest ones I suppose when it comes to Disney hotels here in Paris. And they're still really cool, the theming in them is great. I'm going to show you a little bit of Santa Fe when we get there. This is the pathway you'd need to take to go to Santa Fe and Hotel Cheyenne actually, in case you're wondering. So we've got Disney's Hotel New York over here, this Captain Marvel casually chilling. Very fun. But yeah, it's well signed as well, so if, in case you forget. I know there aren't normally cast members around, so it can be a bit stressful if you don't know well your way but you can see here it literally says Disney Hotel Santa Fe and Cheyenne obviously they're not like you know obvious as the three that are around the lake so those three you can kind of see on your way out of the village Santa Fe and uh, Cheyenne a little bit further away that's why they need the signage but honestly the walk is lovely and it doesn't take more than 10-15 minutes max and look I've only been walking for not even five minutes and you can already see some of the blocks from Disney Hotel Cheyenne here the cowboy themed ones and then some of the Santa Fe blocks as well the kind of bright orange ones however I have noticed that they have now <laughs> I temporarily closed this pathway I'm guessing for some more renovations that they are doing it does say if you want to go to Disney's Hotel Santa Fe you go that way which is odd because Santa Fe Hotel is there and normally this pathway would be open so you can keep going that way I'm actually very happy I chose to do the walkway so hopefully it will help you guys if you decide to do it in the next few months when they're still doing some renovations that actually is a little annoying I have to say because they're taking us round to Hotel Cheyenne and then from there we're gonna get to Santa Fe like Santa Fe is there but I can't go there because they blocked it off also sorry if you can hear some annoying noises that's exactly what a suitcase sounds like when it's uh, being pulled on a wiggly ground um, but I don't imagine the, the, the journey still being too long it's just the shortcut was there and we can't take the shortcut we have to go around like I'm literally at Hotel Cheyenne right now look at that this is Hotel Cheyenne so at least you know how to get to Disney's Hotel Cheyenne uh, honestly only like a 10 minute walk from the parks and I love this resort as well Hotel Cheyenne is one of my favorites it's a value resort it's a budget friendly one but it's so cool here's a little overview of Disney's Hotel Cheyenne resort here at Disneyland Paris like I said one of my favorites and probably the Disneyland Paris hotel that I've stayed at the most because even as a child when we would come here with my family obviously most of the other hotels were quite expensive so we'd normally choose one of the least expensive ones and Cheyenne tended to be our favorite so I sometimes do pony rides actually over there and I remember as a child I think I've told this story a couple of times on this channel but I'll share it again because clearly I'm not over it yet <laughs> but basically the first time my family and I stayed at the Disney Hotel Cheyenne I must have been around maybe nine or ten years old and we came with my cousin and aunt etc um, and my cousin's about four years younger than me my brother's a few years younger than me so I wasn't allowed to go on the ponies basically there was like an age limit or a height limit or something with the ponies and they said oh my brother can go on it my cousin can and then I wasn't and so I've never been on the ponies here <laughs> at Hotel Cheyenne and I remember as a child I felt really sad because you know when you come with like you know your family your cousins etc that's my suitcase sorry I just left it there for a second you feel a bit, little bit left out and that's how I felt and even though I was obviously a couple of years older than the rest of the kids of the family you still feel a bit left out because I played with them I, you know that we played games together that's we were kids at the end of the day I was only nine or ten but I clearly just I wasn't short enough or young enough or a child enough to be able to go on the ponies so yeah if you have children and if you come to the Hotel Cheyenne and if you see the ponies, have them go on it, especially if they're obviously of the right size. And I understand why I couldn't go on it as well, because ponies, if you're, you know, bigger than a certain height, weight, limit, etc., you don't want to damage or injure the ponies. Hang on, I think I'm getting a text. Is it Anthony? Is it going to be an... Oh, it is! Anthony has just sent me three voice notes. 
I'm hoping it's going to be some exciting ones. I think he is actually on his way now from the airport to the hotel, so I can't wait to see him. I think at this point though, I've stayed at every single block here at Disney's Hotel Cheyenne and I love how they're each named after like a different, I guess, Wild West cowboy, you know, a famous person as well. Sitting Bull actually reminds me of the first time I came to Disneyland Paris with my friend Rebecca and we've done so many Disney trips together since. I'm pretty sure that's where we stayed at in 2013 together. So shout out to my friend Rebecca, she normally gets shout outs in most of my Disney vlogs anyway. Also, big shout out to two of my lovely viewers that I met uh, a couple of minutes ago as well. They're from Vienna, Nadia and Tina, I believe, who had a cute little chat. It was lovely meeting them. They're also staying at the Santa Fe, which is awesome. And Anthony's on his way. He's just at the platform waiting for the TGV train from Charles de Gaulle Airport to Mar la Vallée. So hopefully we'll see him soon. He'll be in the way. He's so excited to be in the vlogs. He's been waiting for this moment. So I've done some vlogs with him before as well, by the way. So if you're an old school subscriber, if you've been subscribed to my channel for a long, long time, you might remember him when you see his face. You might be like, oh, I actually recognize the guy because he used to be in some of my very early vlogs years ago now. Anyway, I'm just standing here soaking up the atmosphere of Disney's Hotel Cheyenne. I love this resort so much. It's such a nostalgic one for me and just the Wild West vibe of it, the music they play, the vibe of it is just so cool. Chuck Wagon, this is their buffet restaurant here. They've only got one restaurant and I've eaten there a number of times also as a child. We ate there with my family. It's a, it's a good one. And this here is where we're going to finish literally go you can kind of see the blocks of Santa Fe they're very close to each other so if we literally go that way we're going to be officially in the Santa Fe resort area of Disneyland Paris I just love it the cowboy music is so so much fun <laughs> also it reminds me a little bit of Buffalo Bill's show that has ended with Covid that closed and never came back and I understand it probably was a little bit outdated they used animals in it which in the 90s was absolutely okay but now it's a little bit controversial i get all of that but it's a show that i loved and i never got a chance to say goodbye to i think that's my main problem with it because it just closed suddenly with covid nobody like fans didn't get a chance to say goodbye to it the performers didn't you know get a chance to have their final performance properly it just closed suddenly and i think that's one of the things that makes me really sad about it because it deserved a nice goodbye you know anyway sad nostalgic memories over we just walked from here to the other side i'm loving the cowboy music and here you can see the sign this blue sign that says Hotel Santa Fe, that way. And you can already see some of the blocks. I'm actually very curious to see which block they're gonna give us for this stay. We're here, so we're staying here at the Santa Fe for two nights. So it'd be very cool to see. This hotel is very much cast themed. It used to be Santa Fe only, but you know, the past decade, Disney's been adding IPs to most of their hotels around the world. And this one turned into a cars one. <laughs> and guys, look what my friend Anthony just texted me. So excited to arrive at Cheesy with a cheese emoji. He says that he knows it's probably not how it's pronounced. It's more of a Chessy vibe, the fact that he's uh, <laughs> looking at it as cheesy, the text here, oh, brilliant. I love Anthony. I'm really sure you guys are going to enjoy him in the vlogs as well. And there you are. We are at Santa Fe. Now, this isn't the main reception. We've still got a bit of a walk to go to to get there. But I just wanted to show you the blocks and actually the details on top of them as well. Ever since they changed it into a cars themed resort, you can see some characters from cars. They've got some cacti as well. And like I said, I honestly enjoy this resort as well. It might be uh, the, the most value one, I guess of all the Disneyland Paris resorts but it's still a very funly themed one if funly is even a word and as you can see they've got some that are about four levels I think three or four levels and then some of the blocks only have two levels also worth noting though that if you've got mobility issues then some of the blocks don't have a lift some of them do but some of them don't so your only option really is to use stairs so if you don't want to do that then it, it might be worth asking for a ground floor room in any of the blocks so you don't have to worry about that part so we just walk down there and if you want to go to Hotel Shea you do the same walk towards that side and that's also the pathway to the parks as well you can see this is a little car park area if you do have a car with you and this is the McQueen section I also want to show you that they've got a Starbucks this is definitely one of the pros of staying at the Santa Fe oh my god there's Pete hi oh my god that's so fun that's I oh my lord have mercy okay okay we need to actually go close to him because he's waving at us <laughs> He's adorable. I wanted to show you the Starbucks, but now I'm showing Pluto. Pluto, you're so cute. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys can see him anyway in the pathway. I'll come in. 
Lord have mercy, this is the magic of Disney and this is why it is fun to stay at a Disney hotel if you can, if you can afford it, stay in a Disneyland hotel because you've got characters, you've got the magic, even though there are so many great, great partner hotels and neighbouring hotels around Disneyland Paris and that's where I normally stay at, like 99% of the time I'm staying offside. But if I'm visiting with a friend, especially one who has not been to Disneyland Paris in ages or I think it might even be his first time, I'm going to have to double check with him, then I think it's definitely worth staying in a Disney hotel if you can. Okay, well, let's head in. Pluto's still there. Look <laughs> He's so excitable. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour Merci beaucoup. Je vais faire le check-in. Check-in, d'accord. On va les garder juste D'accord. Oui, pas de plaît. problème. So we just did a little back check, but this is a reception area, which is so quiet at the moment. Perfect time to be checking in. And Anthony's actually on his way. He should be here in the next five or ten minutes. But Pluto, <laughs> Pluto's still there. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> How are you doing, Pluto? I loved seeing you from the outside. You look so cute. It was a nice surprise. The best surprise. <laughs> and I love the background you've got going on there. I love everything about this resort. Yeah, that's so cool. You've got a little, like a thunderbolt thing going on with the car themed and everything. Are you good at race at racing? If you had to run, <laughs> would you win? Because I'd be terrible. I'd, I'd not win. <laughs> oh my God, Pluto. It's amazing seeing you. <laughs> Pluto's being cheeky there now, but that was so much fun. I really hope Anthony manages to get here before he goes away. They do have characters rotating at all the Disney hotels, by the way, and you can actually come and visit them even if you're not staying on site. It's not something I would personally recommend because I don't think it's something that Disney wants to necessarily. Um, obviously, it's meant to be a perk for the people that are staying at this hotel, but if you happen to have maybe dinner here and you come across them, then you're actually fine to go and say hi to them as well. Now, unfortunately, I can't actually check in yet until Anthony comes because the booking is on his name so Anthony will have to be here to show his passport etc and this is what I normally do so because I've got an annual pass with an annual pass at Disneyland Paris <laughs> he does coming back he does coming back <laughs> you cutie um, oh you're hiding from me Pluto are you playing hide and seek I don't know where you are I can't see Ooh. I actually where is Pluto guys we've lost Pluto <laughs> You're good, at hiding. You're good at hiding. Are you hungry, Pluto? Have you had your dinner yet? Do you want me? Do you want a bone? I, don't, I wish I had one. I'm quite hungry. I'm waiting for my friend. So when he comes, we'll probably. He might even see you if he gets here in the next five minutes. I don't know how long you're out here, but hopefully he'll get to see you. <laughs> oh, Pluto is great. He is so cool. Um, what I was gonna say is that because I've got an annual pass, it always works out cheaper to stay offsite and that's the main point of getting an annual pass if you get an annual pass for Disneyland Paris which you actually can't at the moment because they've stopped the sales of it but if you want to choose to get an annual pass you have to be okay with staying off-site unless you're willing to pay a lot of money every single time which I'm not so um, I very rarely get to stay on site and because I'm here with a friend it makes things a bit more complicated because on the website they normally do packages and my friend obviously doesn't have tickets so what we normally do when I come to stay on site with a friend is that they book it for one person so they can get their tickets included and then when you get here as an annual pass holder you can just add your yourself to the booking and just pay the tax because I've already got tickets do you know what I mean and then what I end up doing with my friend is obviously we split the cost so um, I pay half of what he would have booked for one person which makes his life cheaper and it means that I'm also contributing to the hotel costs so now I'm just chilling on these little sofas waiting for Anthony he said he should be here soon but I sent him this photo that I took with Pluto earlier so it's Pluto and I waiting for you it bless him he's so excited to just finally be here because obviously his journey has been very long and he's so excited about the fact that Pluto's here as well. So yeah, hopefully we should see him soon. His reaction about Pluto makes me excited though because I wasn't sure how we'd feel about a character meal. I thought he would enjoy it, but his reaction is giving me vibes that he's going to really like it. Unfortunately, not doing it today. I did cancel today's Plaza Gardens character dining meal. And I, I've got one for tomorrow evening instead, which will probably make more sense anyway because tomorrow I've got a full day. It'll kind of break our day a little bit uh, by sitting down. But yeah, hopefully that'll be a nice birthday surprise for him. A few minutes later. And... Hi! <laughs> here we go! I'm in. so it's happy Anthony. to be here. <laughs> I'm so uh, happy you're here. And this is how I feel. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> He's been on, you said you've been on what, like, oh, oh no. Look, look, this, oh gosh, I have been on such an adventure that this is now a bin. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had, I got, four hours delay, I got, uh, I got, what did I get? I got, you got, I the, got vouchers. Yeah. And I've got two meal deals in here. Nice. Hi everyone. <laughs> this is Anthony. Oh, I'm, look, I'm doing, okay. Yeah, you need to like look at this. Are you ready it's so for difficult, isn't it? Wild ready for adventures. the ride. 
which he hasn't seen yet and I'm so excited. I, I made a comment, past member who checked this name was fantastic by the way and I, I made a joke about a ready for the yeah. ride. Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. um, and Anthony doesn't know the song because he, has, he hasn't seen it so we had a moment where no. I realised what I, what this did I even say? I can't remember. This is beginner's guide <laughs> to Disneyland. Yeah. That's what it is because this is completely fresh, everything's new and I have the, the beauty of Sam Aww. is that I know Sam knows everything so <laughs> I'm like I don't need to plan surely surely I don't need to plan my book that absolute legend oh you're so cute legend. Anthony you're, it's gonna be hold I'm on. so excited this is the first time I've seen Sam in the full Sam for God like real life like now you're in Disney it's like you're yeah, the ultimate we've Sam known for each God. Other. that's true because we've known each other for ages and ages over a decade but we've never been to Disney before together and yet you haven't it it's, it's important for you guys to know that he has been to Disney parks before many of them including Paris but when you were very young so you don't remember I, it I, I, I was a kid and I don't yeah. remember and when, I'm, when I say I don't remember it I do not remember yeah, it you were like very young. nothing but you've been to Shanghai you've been to uh, Tokyo Disneyland he's been to Tokyo Disneyland guys I am one Disneyland away from doing them all which is California, California. and then frustratingly I've beaten California before Place. Sally from the night before Christmas. <laughs> Anthony was like, so can we meet Sally from the night before Christmas? I was like, unfortunately <laughs> not. It's going to be Sally from Cars. <laughs> or do we get me Sally from Cars though? No, sadly oh. not either. We just have his little face, her little face, because she's a, she's a Sally. Um, <laughs> but look, look at Anthony being a gentleman and yes. taking my suitcase. Oh, and look how lightly he's that. packed compared to me, honestly. That. Like, <gasps> Look, we've got Barbara. Okay, let me write Barbara, Barbara, Barbara. We're matching. Oh but, but do you know Barbara is from South Shields, where I'm I from? I didn't know that, no the way. My, the factory's in my hometown. Oh, so wow. So this is like represent of my hometown. You've made my coat so matched. much more like special you've for me now. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I my, it especially my, my cousin works in the factory. Wore it especially for you, darling. Uh, well done for noticing, but that's because it's from your neck of the woods anyway. Anyway, guys. Never a dull day, guys. Never a dull day, never. I'm excited to just be on the vlogs because it's like yeah I'm excited to have you on the vlogs for the first time in so long uh -huh. and first time in Disney um, we were going to meet Pluto again but his line had gotten quite long uh, popular guy popular dog so we thought we'd just go to our blog find our room um, and then see how we feel if we want to go back and that's going to be cool and noisy with I know I've, I've already mentioned it to them it's so annoying this little the <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's the sound when you're rolling your suitcase on this annoying pavement Anyway, block number 54 we are in the Sally section on the ground floor. Ooh, this is like cool, isn't it? It is cute. Woohoo! <laughs> Anthony is very excited and so am I, honestly. As soon as he came, my energy level has been, has increased defo quite a bit. <laughs> um, okay, so we're still in the McQueen area. Sally would be the one on the right next door. So Anthony is leading the way. Yeah? <laughs> Thank you very much. You, you, 10 out of 10 for being a perfect cast member here. 54. Bonjour. Bonjour. Merci. Bonjour. Merci. Bonjour. 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 <laughs> Gotta love it. So what room are we? 34. 34. 034. Four. Four. Yeah. Like I trust you. Um, this actually is one of the blocks that has a lift. So if you are staying even on the higher levels, then you don't have to worry about, you know, taking the stairs if you have mobility issues, which is good. Do I beat? Uh, I slice. Yeah. Uh, slice? Oh God, <laughs> you, you kind of slide, I went to say, but I went, actually meant beep. I get you. We'll but you have to hold it for a couple of seconds. There you go. I think it should work now. It's saying green, so I'm guessing that yeah, works. Yeah, go on. Fantastic. I want Anthony to go in first. I love how, like... <gasps> oh, look at the cone. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah, I love uh, oh how cautiously opened goodness, it. Oh my goodness, look at that mirror. The mirror I knew you'd love. Oh. I knew you'd love. <laughs> That I'm gonna the amount of selfies we're gonna take there. Yeah, I know. And I've got yeah, my you can take this, it's fine. Cord. I'm just behind you. Oh look at cute. Look. I know, it's so cute. Oh, the so sweet. Indeed. And then Oh this is like tapping right into childhood, isn't it, with the top bit? Yeah, it's like so I used to have one that was in the middle, kinda of going along. It was Thomas the Tank Engine though. Oh cute, <laughs> that's, that's so cute. But it's kind and you've got a little vehicles. traffic cone here. Yeah as well. It's cute. It's lovely. Right. <laughs> I can't get it off. Oh no! We were going to do a dramatic jump on the bed situation. <laughs> I mean, Ooh. is it is it comfortable enough at least? Uh, it's it's it, it, it cushioned my landing, so yeah, that's good. That's yes, good. Lovely. It will do I the job. This. It will do the job. Yeah, it's, not, it's the theming. Honestly, in any of the Disney resorts, fantastic. Oh, look at Anthony. I feel so bad because you've been on such a long journey as well. No, no, I'm grand. But I'm glad that you're still energetic. I am grand. So yeah, we're just gonna freshen up a little bit, and then uh, what is the time, Anthony? It's nearly seven. 
what time was your flight meant to be? <laughs> so I was supposed to arrive here at three o'clock <laughs> and it's now seven o'clock. Yeah, you only got here like half an hour ago. No, I was like, I think it was more just the stress of kind of not knowing what time the flight was going to be. Yeah, because you they kept delaying it they for you, didn't they? They kept delaying it half an hour, mm. half an hour, and I was like, oh. and then it was like, is it going to just cancel? I was so worried about oh, it. So I was, when you said you're actually boarding, I was like, yeah, thank the Lord. Yes. Um, so, but, but at the same time, do you know why they did they? Did, well, did they give you a well, reason? The the I don't know. I don't know if this is mm. true, but the person next to me said. Or oh, Air France are on strike, but then I thought about it. And I said, "Well, they didn't mention that. They just said operational reasons. Okay. Well, operational reasons could be." Fair. I don't know. I but mean, I'm here. France goes on strike a lot, just generally in life, though. Fair enough. So it could be. It could potentially be even with trains and Eurostar sometimes it happens uh -huh. um, even with people in Disney Village sometimes it happens strikes oh. are a thing of France and also they're also a thing of Billy Elliot which is not where he's from to be well he's not Billy well, Elliot I, I've got the accent he's got the accent. Understand my accent hopefully let us know in the comments his accent's amazing I love his accent one of the best oh. accents ever um, but I don't have the strongest Geordie accent no, though, no. So you're right. not like a fully Billy Elliot type of you're not like aye aye electricity electricity yeah, man. Yeah, um, man. We well, did a video like ten years ago, nine years ago, where where he taught me how to do the dialect of up north, South Shields, <laughs> Newcastle. Geordie, Geordie yeah. that's the one. There that's the one. <laughs> and I was pretty bad at it, so I'll leave the link down below if you really want to watch us from a long time ago. A young version, very much, <laughs> very young. Um, but yeah, you can have. I'm gonna have to try and find some Geordie Disney songs. Oh, that'd be interesting. Well, as in which ones? Yeah. Were, were okay, like with an accent. accent. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll, we'll see. think about that. We will we'll think, think about, about that. that. Marvelous. Stay tuned, as they say, right? Indeed. Is that stay your TV like. You, you can do what you want, darling. You can do what you want. It can be your thing. We're gonna stay tuned. We've just come to the Starbucks at Santa Fe at our resort, and I thought I'd show you one of my favorite things to get here, which is the donut blanc, the white donut. Are you gonna get it? Um, are you sure? Okay. Um, uh, can I have a vanilla iced vanilla latte, please? Thank you very much. Look, Anthony being cute. He's also wearing a pair of my ears. He said he's gonna buy himself some ears later, probably as well. But I want to show you these donuts here, the white donuts. They are so, so yummy. Also, I finally got ears as well. You're probably about 30 minutes, 40 minutes into the vlog and it's the first time you've seen me with ears. I know so many of you would have been disappointed, but don't worry, they are back on my head. And this Starbucks may not be the biggest one, but it's so convenient because it's in your hotel. If you're staying at Santa Fe, it's literally right on your doorsteps. And it's normally quiet. Like the Starbucks at Disney Village, always busy. There's always people inside it. This one here, or the one at the Cheyenne, which is next door, that they have a, a Starbucks there too. They're normally quiet. You can just hop in, get yourself a drink if you wish to, a donut blonde or a croissant, whatever you want, or have your lovely friend treat you to a drink. So, yeah, how lucky am I? So, my drink has arrived. I went for a vanilla iced latte, and then Anthony's waiting for his too. What did you go for? I went for the this iced vanilla brulee, it's called. Interesting. Uh, old one. Okay. Um, it looks. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's just arrived. Is it nice? Mm. The this is gonna... shake ton espresso, is that what it was called? Shake... I, I have oh, to read no, it that's just Ice that, Oh, that's just a French shake ton espresso. That ice vanilla brulee. Or shake and espresso. Okay. It's a long title. It is. But it's the first time having it and you're pleased with it? Pleased. And I love vanilla. I'm, I'm going to a vanilla face. I'm, mine's also vanilla iced latte, so mm. well done for being Cheers. a vanilla person. Cheers indeed. I just said, I didn't <laughs> expect it in this kind of cup. I know, and I was telling but Anthony they're so environmentally friendly in France even cold drink. It's weird because in the UK they still do plastic for cold drinks, which mm. I guess makes sense. And then for hot drinks they use these ones. Um, in America they just use plastic for everything and then here is like it's it's big, big as well. Yeah. But here is like the other extreme. So the UK is like got the balance right. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. it's, it's good to be environmentally Oh, 100%. Yeah, 100%. I just yeah. was kind of walking into the place. It's not no, mine. It's, and I was like, it's They only hot. changed them about, an hour, like, about a year ago oh, when they when they first no, did that. I was the same. Idea. I thought it was going to be hot. And it's so weird because you just don't have a straw. You normally uh -huh. you normally get a straw, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah, we are. Cheers, cheers again, again, cheers again. We are. I mean, Anthony, I feel like, is already energized. I'm trying to bring my energy levels up. Because we want to go to the obviously park. Maybe do some rides. We were trying to plan what we're going to do. I am so excited. I, you can see that on his face. And then, of course, we've got the fireworks. Like, Anthony didn't even realize that there's fireworks at 11. So it's quite no, I knew there was fireworks. I just didn't know it was what at time? 11. And that we could which, see as them. a 31 year old, as of yesterday, <laughs> just Happy not, birthday. not to mention it was birthday. No, oh, I'm joking. I've um, already talked about your birthday, um, don't worry. Um, I was like, Oh, 11's perfect, like, yeah, it's especially arriving now. Yeah. So it's not like we have to go and watch uh, the fireworks straight away. We will hopefully have time yeah. to do some rides 
Hopefully with slightly lower wait times as well because most kids and I'm might be having nap well, times. So yeah. Eleven o'clock is like holiday vibes. Oh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Thank you. Thank hello. You so much. Hello. hello. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you again. This is my friend Anthony. It was his birthday hello. yesterday. Oh wow. Hello, Pluto. Yeah. Happy Legends. birthday. Yes. Sorry, we both got drinks as well. We just uh, we were thirsty, so we'd offer you some. But did you want some as well? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Next yeah. time we'll think Keep of you. Eh? Okay, can we just put the Starbucks on the side? Yes. Please? Oh, yes. Uh, I'll just put thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, okay, you know, nice to see That's perfect. Thank you. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. One more, please. And just one. You ready, Pluto? Oh, oh yeah. Let's do Pluto, Pluto pose. What is that, a Pluto pose? Whoa, whoa. Stop move. One more, one more. Tongue out. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Hello. Thank you, Pluto. Oh, oh, my oh you have to like give you a hug as well if that's okay. Oh. Can you give me a big hug? Thank, Thank you, Pluto. You. Have a good day. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. See Thank you, Pluto. Bye-bye. Thank, so Thank, Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Tristan. Bye-bye. Thank you. What's I like, hi, what do I do? <laughs> What did, I do? did you enjoy? It's cute, yeah, isn't cute. it? It's cute. It's nice, nice and nice cuddle, eh? Yeah, yeah, nice yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the bus is coming, the Hotel Santa Fe bus uh, that's going to take us to Disneyland. Pretty good timing, we didn't have to wait for it too long, so we thought we might as well just hop on the bus and look at that. Yeah. My old friend! <laughs> I can't spend my whole life dreaming. <laughs> I've been waiting for the Disney music and it has that's arrived. Nice movie, isn't it? Finally. <laughs> Woo. I can't do that properly. <laughs> do it one more time. Yay! That was better. That was better. That was better. And look at the beautiful Disneyland Hotel entrance here. You just want to go in with a little kid world. We have just entered. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, how do you feel about this beautiful 30th sign? It's, it's about to come. It's about to come. It is so cool, isn't it? Also, I was talking to Anthony. His birthday obviously was yesterday, but also his more or less the same age as Disneyland Paris. That's rather special. You should be happy. You're only 12 days younger than Disneyland so, Paris. What? 12 days younger? Ooh. So when would that make, what, what would they make uh, the birthday of Disneyland Paris? Considering your so birthday is on the 24th of I'm April? 12 days younger, so that's older. So that means 12 days before 24th, which makes it 1-12. Yeah, 12th of April 1992 yeah. is when Disneyland Paris was open. God, you tested your me with maths. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'll put you under pressure. Oh. I love your ears and you can see a bit of the castle. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful, especially at this time of evening when it's um <laughs> like what are you doing? I, I know, I know we do. It's a nice reveal though, it's so cute Aww. when you come here you can see the gazebo. Yeah, this it's time of evening is a sleeping beauty. Sleeping beauty. Aurora. Aurora indeed, well done. Aurora. Also, how pretty are these flowers? We're officially in spring of 2023 now and because of that all these beautiful colourful flowers are here making the entrance of the park and the gazebo and everything even better and just that light look at the sky the castle everything oh what's the time let's have a quick look okay it's 8 30 p.m officially we've still got about three hours until park closing time so hopefully some time for some rides before we get our spots for the fireworks show disney dreams which i can't wait for so let me double check you can take your Thank phone you back so much, darling. Um, oh, what's happened here? We're just looking at some photos, guys, that we took because uh, Anthony's about to post uh -huh. his first photo on, on, the, on the gram, Instagram. I'll put his link down below if you want to follow him. Uh, sorry, I'm just totally <laughs> no, you, being you, rude. You, you do what you... No, <laughs> Anthony could never be rude. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a cute that's, photo. That's that the is one. a cute that's photo. I'm not going to show it to you. Go on his Instagram if you want to see it. So, plan of action is we've just done a full-on photo shoot here in front of the car. So, if you want to check out some of the photos from it, follow me on Instagram. Also, you can follow Anthony as well. Both links will be down below. Obviously, I'm Sam Forgot. Yours is also Mr. Anth Ward. It is, yes. But if you want to know exactly how it's spelt, link will be down below. Um, but yeah, we're heading into, I think we're going to go into Fantasyland because it is currently about close to 9pm I think now. Must be at yeah, this point. We've, 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 yeah, we did gosh, a little photo shoot. Nice, <laughs> yeah, 10 to 9. 10, wow, 10 minutes to 9. Castle's looking gorgeous. Just met a couple of you guys as well who took my photo. Thank you so much. I took your photos. We had a nice little yeah, moment of a photo shoot. It was so cute, wasn't it? Um, but yeah, we thought we'd try and do some rides in Fantasyland because the wait times are quite short and Fantasyland's an, uh, a land that normally gets long queues throughout the day because it's mainly catered to children, and children obviously are mainly in the parks in the daytime. The moon, I love the moon, and they just spotted the moon. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see what's going on in Fantasyland, maybe even 
la 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 Yeah Love it La 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 It's a small world we'll be opening in a couple of weeks now, at the time of filming this today is the 25th of April 2023, a day after this beautiful man's birthday, 31 years ago. But yeah, it's small world. Can't wait, can't wait. However, we've got so many other rides to do here. We've got the teacups, we've got Dumbo, we've got Peter Pan's flight, which is currently at 40 minutes, which is really good for a ride like Peter Pan's flight. We're starting our Disneyland Paris adventure with Dumbo. It's going to be our first attraction of the day. It's only at the 15 minutes, which, uh, again, Normally throughout the day, this would be much, much longer. So, oh yeah, Anthony's just spotted the Cheshire Cat at Alice's Curious Labyrinth, which is amazing, right next to Meet Mickey Mouse's theatre. Cute little Disney dog spotted by Anthony over there whilst we're waiting in the queue for Dumbo. I think we're gonna be the next ones on Dumbo. I just wanted to show you how cool it is to go on the ride, kind of when it started to get dark because of all the light projections. I feel like it really does add an element to an otherwise classic but not too exciting ride and you can see the beautiful castle as well in the background all lit up and I think we should be next on so they've given us a number number 11 which we are heading to now oh uh, it's the yellow one I think which is exciting yellow is a good color so oh no that's 12 it's the next one it's the next one Anthony well, we're on it Anthony are you excited about this adventure I want to up. Oh, no. up, up. Up, up, up. I'm ready sadly we have to wait you're ready for the up ready for the up 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 um like the Disney Pixar movie. Oh, oh yeah, that's a cool one. Oh, that's it. Yeah. How cute is the car? So la 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 la. Oh my god! Oh my god! No no no! We need to go up. Oh look at the castle, guys. That is beautiful. Oh yes. This is nice. Oh. Yeah, fancy land in this land sure. is so beautiful. See the Panorama Magique over there as well. Very awesome views or of all over the park for the most part actually. Oh, oh this is great. Woo! Oh, drop. <laughs> oh, it doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> work, work like that. Like do <laughs> Anthony tried to do a thing, it didn't work. It's actually it's higher than you think, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. It is like, cool. It's higher than. You. Very pretty. I mean, it's not no, but it's pretty views and yeah, it's a classic and I cannot wait for a small world to one day, hopefully next month, come back. But for now, we're going to enjoy this beautiful view. It feels like quite relaxing, doesn't it? it? Is. It's yeah, like it that calm. As soon as you relax, it's time to go back down. I know. Bye. 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 We are now walking into Discovery Land because we saw that Hyperspace Mountain currently has a 20 minute wait, which really isn't bad at all. They do do single rider for hyperspace as well, but it's a lot more fun, obviously, doing it with whoever you're with if you want to in 20 minutes. It's going to be perfect. And, you know, Discovery Land is a land that just, doesn't it look amazing? Like, it just looks so, yeah, in the night with the, it's so cool. Um, the Jules Verne-esque vibes of it. It's such a unique land that we have here in Disneyland Paris. Um, so yeah, we're going to try and do that. Maybe even squeeze in a little buzz ride after that before the fireworks. We'll see. Okay, so single ride is actually 15 minutes for hyperspace. And the regular line, this Anthony over there, is 25, which not bad whatsoever. Hyperspace Mountain Q line here. They've got some walls up. I'm not sure why. I'm guessing probably because of they're still working on the Nautilus. So that should be exciting when it comes back. But yeah, I do love our Space Mountain here. I just wish it would turn back into Mission 1. That was definitely the best one. Star Wars is okay, but the actual roller coaster is still the same. So I love it. Those are warning signs because it does go upside down. Oh! <laughs> Anthony tries to scare me. Didn't quite work. This is your closely to the following safety instructions. Hyperspace Mountain is a thrilling, high speed, turbulent roller coaster type machine for the darkness of space. At the opposite, Would you say this is like quite close? No. Yeah, I'd say probably. Yeah, we should get on 10 15 minutes maybe. I want to be at the very front. <laughs> I want to see oh my god what the people can see <laughs> strolling along in this what do you call it again Q 
cute. <laughs> Love it. Down at the front. Wish I could be at the very front. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Love that. Look at all these warnings they've got going on, but we're very much whisking through the queue here. I feel like we should be on, you can hear the screams. Probably the next five minutes or so at this point. It's been amazing. So this is the launch area. You can see the, the train, the ride has just gone through. Star Wars Hyperspace. There's two on each side. I love it. I love the launching area of Hyperspace. It's so fun. You can see this next one over here is about to go. And I think we should probably be on the next one. Let's see this one head off. There they go. Lord have legit mercy. Yeah, you just hold on to it. Oh, you can put it on the, you can put it on the floor. Just put it on the floor. So, obviously I'm not going to be filming on this attraction. It's mainly in the dark. It goes upside down. There's like twists and turns. So, I'm going to put you guys away and I'll see you afterwards. We are off Hyperspace Mountain now. I love it. Such a good ride. Anthony, what did you think? It was your first time on it? Yeah. That was the best one out of all of them in the world. It's so That's good. It's one. so cool. And it's so thrilling. It's like the twists, the turns. There's so many twists and turns. The narrowness, the openness. Yes. The, yeah. Uh, oh, the track, the roller coaster. It's just a brilliant. Yeah. It really is so much fun. And the Star Wars theme's really good as well. Yeah. As much as I'm not a Star Wars fan. Yeah, we we're just like, talking. Neither of us are a big Star Wars fan. It's a good theme. Yeah. And the music, especially at the start, where it's like, dun, 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 yeah. where it's preparing you to get launched. And I didn't. Ex I didn't know it was going to shoot you off. I was like, because <laughs> it was waiting. I thought, is it just stopped? And then I was like. <laughs> And then oh, we just went. Shoot us, right? Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm, on, I'm on board. Let's go. It is. Oh my God. And then. Amazing. Around, like, Fun fact for you, Anthony's been on Tron, which recently opened in Walt Disney World, like millions yeah, of times. In Shanghai. Yeah. So a little story time. I love a bit of a story time. <laughs> go on. Um. So Tron. Um. Used to used to go on a Sunday, and if you went on a Sunday, it was quiet because all in the, Shanghai Disneyland. In Shanghai Disneyland, and I used to get on Tron, go around and come back around and get straight back on it <laughs> to the point where I got travel sick. I went on so many times, I just went round and round oh and round. Oh my God. And I was ill, I was really ill. That, that's um, like the dream though, because uh -huh. in Disney World it's so hard to yeah. get on it. I, I was lucky I did it twice, but I've never done it in the dark. I'd love I've to do it. I've done it definitely over 50 times. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's probably and in the original, 50 and 100. And in the original that. theme park as well, where it started, not in Florida, because the original Tron was in Shanghai Disneyland. Anyway, Love this land in the dark. We are not sure if we're going to be able to do one more ride. Now we're going to try maybe for Buzz, but I thought I'd show you just a little bit of the castle. <laughs> Look, go to see that one more time. Buzz, 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 buzz. I am terrible at Buzz. Have you done it before? Because I yes, think there's yeah. I'm really good at it. Oh God, <laughs> it's not a good combination. He's good at it. I'm, I'm already terrible. Hold on, there's, there's the Hong Kong one, I oh, think. Oh, it's was it Japan. I, yeah, I get confused. There's um, definitely one. There's I don't, one I've in not been to Japan. Yes. Yeah. But there was there was one that was. I remember the. I think was it. Anyways, I have the Hong Kong and Japan one was really good. Mm -hmm. So I'm intrigued to see what this one's like. The Shanghai one was really good as well. I am competitive, but I'm also terrible, but I also love Toy Story. So it's just a really annoying mix, um, which makes me actually appreciate the attraction, even though I never win. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully we can get on it. I think the queues are actually, the, the wait lines are even dropping from what it was before, because the fireworks start in about an hour. Really good time to get some rides done if you want to, just before the fireworks. In case you're wondering, it is three minutes to 10. We've got just over an hour now until Disney Dreams and Buzz Lightyear is currently at a 15 minute wait so we're definitely going to be able to make it exciting random little hidden mickey for you here in the queue for buzz look at that there's quite a lot actually in the queue for buzz line the scanner detects plus de problems dans sector 9 aucun doute c'est l'oeuvre de cet abominable criminel l'ennemi juré de l'alliance sidérable and we have practically walked onto this ride. Look at that. It's not even been five minutes and we should be next on the attraction. <laughs> Let's get shooting indeed. The competition is on. I mean, Anthony's going to win. But I'm going to try my best, so. I'm actually, I'm not going to film because I really want to try. I'm going to try my best to at least do a decent score, so I'll speak to you after. You are a toy! <laughs> Look at Anthony's score, guys! 127,000! I did. To be fair, I did okay considering it's me. 36,000 for me, but I mean, Lord have mercy. Come that's that's good that's good so we are on main street now and people have already taken their spots for disney dreams starting in about 45 minutes it is quite busy we're gonna head into casey's corner and try to get ourselves some hot food because it's one of the few options that is still open now and look at that moon up there here's the menu over here casey's corner i'm not sure what i'm gonna get yet i might just get some chicken nuggets we'll see because i have already had some food 
But um, yeah, it's a good option to be fair. It's a classic again, Casey's Corner. They have them in most of the parks, actually, definitely the US ones, and then here in Paris as well. So, queue's not too bad. Hopefully, we should be able to get something and then take our spots for the fireworks. So, we've got our food. Honestly, it didn't even take that long. It's currently 10 30, so we've still got half an hour. It is busy in terms of space, though, so we're just sitting here uh, by these lovely flowers. Mm -hmm. Anthony went for the nachos hot dog. I just decided to go for some chicken nuggets. They came in here, in this little package. Was, the service was very quick, and literally we ordered and the guy gave us our food straight away and we both went on for some uh, french fries and orange juice as well, so yeah, looking forward to life and then we've got a cute little view of the castle over there. Well we had our food, it was lovely, did you enjoy your hot dog Anthony? It was exactly what I wanted and what I needed. Yeah, it, it hit the spot. Um, we are now in a pretty busy Main Street actually for a Tuesday night. It does normally get very like for the fireworks show, even up to about 10 minutes before it's, it's still okay because I think it's worse than 10 minutes before which is what the time is now. Suddenly everyone's like comes into onto Main Street. So yeah, busy delight should be starting in like 5 minutes. I can't wait. Weather's nice as well so hopefully the drones should work. Your first time seeing an, a Disney drone show. And then of course we've got Disney Dreams, the fireworks show. So exciting times ahead. So is this the one that you came to see last week? I really week? like Disney Dreams. Yeah, it's my favorite. It's one of my favorites. So it's like they've just redone it. Yeah, they like, bought it back, brought it back because it was a fan favorite. So okay. hopefully you'll like it. We'll see. But then you've seen fireworks shows in, in Shanghai with the big castle. And that we'll big see. castle is amazing. That big castle is fantastic. Disney delight. <laughs> But um, the drone show, Disney D Light, it has changed since the last time I saw it. The drones work is even better than it was before. They've got some new effects, as I mentioned in my uh, Disneyland Paris update vlog that I did a couple of weeks ago. It's fantastic. Did you like it, Anthony? Whoa! I'm on DC Lily! Whoa! Whoa! And now, Disney Dream! Hey! <laughs> 
Queens just finished. That show just always gets me, I think, because I've had so many memories with it. And I did make a video uh, on the first night of Dreams Back, uh, the 12th of April 2023, a couple of weeks ago, where I shared my full thoughts. I'll leave it down below if you want to check it out, about how I don't know if it's necessarily the right thing that they brought it back as much as I love it. I'm not sure if it's the right show for Disneyland Paris now, 10 years later, you know, or whatever, how many late years it's been since they debuted here in Disneyland Paris. I think it's been 11 years, actually. Um, but I love it, especially that last section with um, the finale when it's like and when the journey is through with the fireworks, the Peter Pan song, it's just like, it's, I genuinely have to like hold back the tears because I think it's such a beautiful ending and it's like, I, I think Dreams, I do genuinely think Dreams is a phenomenal show, the way it's just all comes together with Peter Pan's story and the shadow and at the end when it's like, well now that our journey is through, it's, it's just, you guys know my thoughts on Dreams, but also you know my thoughts on whether or not I think Disneyland Paris should have brought it back, which is something I never thought I would say. I was so excited about it, but on my first, you know, visit back to Disneyland Paris, seeing Dreams again uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had mixed feelings. I was like, I'm happy it's back, but is it the right show for Disneyland Paris in 2023? And I feel the same now. I love it, but I don't know about you know it being the right thing for now anyway mixed uh, mixed emotions personally i love it hi how are you can i take a picture of yeah you? of course you want to say hi to the vlog oh yes nice. nice to meet you hello, hello. <laughs> i can't believe it what's That's your name i'm bruna nice to meet you i'm nice from brazil you. oh amazing yeah. amazing i'm so sam lovely to meet you <laughs> did you enjoy the fireworks Yes, so oh good, God. isn't it? Anthony's just having a look at the shops here, uh, potentially buying himself a little bowl for his house, which I'm excited about. But it was always so lovely meeting you guys. I feel like I've spoken enough about dreams now. Um, I thought I'd show you some of the mugs here. We've just escaped to one of the shops that was nearby uh, because it normally gets very busy after the nighttime shows here in Disneyland Paris. So this mug is one that I've never seen before. I think it's quite new. This one's 13 euros. It's got minis, mini, di different expressions of mini. So like joyeuses, studios, gourmand. So like basically like hungry, st studios. You, you can basically guess it. Joyous, um, endormi, asleep, things like that. Obviously it's all in French, which is quite cool. And then on the other side, ah, okay. Dans la vie, je suis moi et j'adore ça. So in life, I am me and I love that. That's very empowering actually. I like that, really, really cool. I love this. It's a very just, cool bowl. So I'm just saying I have a bit of yellow in my house, mm -hmm. so like this matches perfectly. Yeah, it's a so nice one as well. I like that it's like for the most part it's quite, there's not striking. a lot over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've got that little cute Mickey. I really like those, um, the plastic things over there with the like, Christmas crisps. Let's have a look. Also. Which ones? The, the plastic bowl. Oh, I know what you mean. Like, like the Mickey. Oh, yeah. There. Oh my god, yeah, I, I get what you mean. So They're so cute. Oh my god, how much are these? Like just some nachos well, and a couple yeah, of chips. I, I agree with you. This plate's nice as well. And they've got so many cute things. Yeah. So many cute things. You've chosen well. There's a whole mini range here as well, in case you're into your flora stuff. And then here is the mini Parisian stuff. And then Alice in Wonderland. I'm slowly losing my voice. But um, this is cool. I don't drink tea, but the like. Can you actually use it from all of all three of them? No, I don't think so. No, it's just this. Just the main one. one. Yeah. They're cool and funky, but though, aren't they? You could have that as just a display. You could, yeah. You could. No, I like so these, these are nice with the tea. Actual tea um, in there. There's a little tea light as well here for candles with the um, castle logo, the Island Paris Castle, which, fun fact for you, is the very first tattoo I ever got. This is my tattoo over here. And it's the exact same logo that you can see here on the little the uh, candlelight stuff here. I'm still gravitated towards these new mugs, guys. I feel like they're so fun. The mini one, once I'm at the other side, it's just, I find so cool. Let's have a look at the Mickey one. Mickey says, Avec moi chaque jour est une aventure. So with me, every day is an adventure. And I would agree. Mickey is an adventurous person. It has the Disneyland Paris logo in it as well. They're all 13 euros. And again, you've got different Mickeys, rockers, genie, DJ. Oh, like a pirate, hip hop. Fun. Yeah, there you go. Mickey can be many different things and you can have different adventures. And then, of course, they've also got Tink. Really not Stitch. I'm guessing they'll probably add the Stitch one at some point. Uh, Tinkerbell ones, though, says, Je suis unique. C'est tellement mieux que parfait. I am unique. It's much better than being perfect. And I agree with her again. Even though Tinkerbell's not my favorite character. Shout out to my friend Rebecca, though. She enjoys her. So this one says, like, Jalouse, Jealous, Charmante, I'm Charming, Rêveuse, Dreamer. There's quite a lot, again. So, yeah quite a cute little range I just like how empowering it is it's basically telling you to be yourself but um yeah I'm gonna head over now to the next shop which is the Emporium yeah I think it suits you for sure I like that 
guys, we're just coming to the Emporium and I think this range has literally been just released today because I've not seen it before. Um, and I've heard about it though, I've heard about this being released. It's a new range of spirit jerseys. We've got this lovely yellow one. It says Disneyland Paris, the classic Disneyland Paris logo, Disneyland Paris on the back. Um, what do you think about that? I mean, I've, I've seen it in the likes, like reflection. And actually, to be fair, I think I do see it. I really like it on you. Uh, I, and, then the, and the fact that it's like, but, you know, it's black, it's just got Disneyland Paris on it. They've got this green range as well. Lord have mercy, I'm probably going to buy another spirit jersey and I have too many. I'm wearing one right now, literally, that I only got a few weeks ago. It's terrible. Um, this is the green one, in case you're wondering. Um, they've also got like a purplish grey one over here. Is it purple? What would you say? This is grey. Like lilac. Lilac, lilac colour. Um, there's a lot. So it's like a spirit jersey and you can also match it with um, one of these bucket hats. And you guys know I love a bucket. I just love hats. I wear hats all the time. So this is going to be an exciting time. And this is the green spirit jersey, which I'm definitely going to get. Because I love the colour. Look at that so cool and those of you who have been wanting the black spirit jersey they've, they've had this one before the black spirit jersey has been around it's actually the original disneyland paris spirit jersey that was first released many years ago here um but it was sold out for a while and they've brought it back so in case you're wondering it is now back and the spirit jerseys as always are all 60 euros which i really don't think is too bad really they've still also got loads of these plushes left from the 30th anniversary of disneyland paris so if you're coming visiting disneyland paris in the next few months you should be able to to get these these are 30 euros each 30 euros for mini and 30 euros for mickey mouse with his cute little top hat guys you can already see this is in my hand <laughs> this will be coming back to santa Fe hotel with me then later on back home and the bucket hat which i'm absolutely in love with how cool is that nice color i love it right let's go and pay for these i made the purchase i bought this new jersey are we going for us it's so cute life is great i just yeah <laughs> I love being here with Anthony, he's so cute. Um, also, shout out to a lovely cast member, Theresa, who um, checked out my spirit jersey. Basically, it was a, she was a cast member I went to pay to pay for my spirit jersey and the bucket hat. She was amazing. Theresa, fantastic cast member. We had a lovely chat. Um, we chatted about the spirit jerseys, our favorite colors. It was just so lovely. So, yeah, now we're just in Flora's. Anthony's looking for a pair of ears. He hasn't found one that he particularly likes yet. But they do still have quite a lot of the 30th anniversary lounge flies in stock. Yeah, they're, they're, that's quite cute, the Chippendale ones. And it's also like a 30th anniversary specific one. So. Chippendale are hard workers. <laughs> yeah, they are hard workers. I see them, I haven't seen them here, but every other park, you yeah. walk in and Chippendale They're always there, there, yeah. But maybe because it's always, they're always early. We they're always oh, they're so team. cute. Oh, they might even be a bit more like easy on your head than the one I gave you earlier. Yeah, a little bit. Because the ones I gave you are from a little, like from a while ago, they're from 2018, and they've started to make them a bit more Can comfortable. You flip the yeah, and they want to see themselves. So the mirror. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, it's cute. It's, it's cute. Adorable. It's, it's like really a castle cute. on them as well, like the. Yeah. It's embroidered. It is currently, by the way. Oh my God, it's like quarter to midnight. Time just flies by when you're shopping and having fun. Yeah, literally, legitimately, 23:46. We need to sleep. Yeah, I'm so like tired, guys. Like, are you? Are you? Are you, are you like, can, can you look ones? after the, me? The Where do I go? Are they too sparkly for you? Yeah, <laughs> I don't mean. Uh, You'll know when you see one. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. It'll be like, oh, this is this is the one. Say hi to the Eiffel Tower. We are going to be seeing the Eiffel Tower hopefully in a few days' time. We're heading to Paris. Is this is the fake? In case you this is a representation of me. In a couple of days, a few days' time up there. Yeah, Looking, <laughs> it's gonna be great, guys. We are back in our <laughs> hotel room. <laughs> Casually, what is the time, Anthony, darling? Um, it is half twelve. Half twelve. It's tomorrow. It is officially tomorrow. That's the wicked quote. <laughs> in case any of you guys are big theatre fans, mate has already gone to bed here. I've never um, seen it before. Which one? Wicked. Ha 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 ha. Anthony's been throwing all these dad jokes at me throughout the day. Oh, lordy. Anyway, so I wanted to inform you guys, just because I don't often do this, if you're staying on property, and I have mentioned it in some of my vlogs before, but if you're staying on the Disney hotel, you get, I think, like four or two credits per night in terms of hot drinks, which they'll have little, um, what would you call those things? Like vending machines. Vending machines, that's the one. <laughs> uh, around your hotel and with your card, your key to the room, you can get two per night. So on the way back to the hotel, I got myself a hot chocolate. Anthony's already finished his tea. I got a mint tea. It was quite sweet, but um, 
I mean, I don't know, he drink sweet tea, so, but it was nice, it was so nice. Fair. Um, the drinks will never be the, as good as what you can get, obviously, in the parks or in Starbucks, but it's a nice it's little, free. yeah, exactly, it's a nice little complimentary it's thing that you, great. mine's a Viennese hot chocolate. It's nice, it's, it, does, it, it does the job. So, yeah, um, quite late, I feel like I'm quite delirious at this point. Anthony's had a long journey here. But we did a lot today. We, we were well, discussing, we despite for, for the time we've had. we did a lot. It's been it's been really fun, um, and tomorrow we're hoping to have a lovely, adventurous day as well. Don't stop watching yet, though, because I didn't even know what I was going to say because I'm so tired at this point. Um, are we going to do the face masks tonight? Do you think? <gasps> yes. Anthony bought a couple of face masks, which were like forty percent off, um, fun ones. So um, it was five euros, 50, sixty-five, sorry, or something for two. And then I got my annual pass discount on top of it. No, so that was with. Oh, really? Oh, sorry, that was with the yeah, annual. So what was the original price of four, each? Oh, sorry, it was six euros each, so it would have been twelve. 40 wow. Off that. So we got more than half. Plus half off. Your discount was. Yeah. So for five euros two face masks fantastic and really easy. fun disney ones as well so yeah. before in a couple of seconds you'll see us with them on. but leave your guesses down below as to which characters we're going to be each villains is my little get a uh, little hint for you guys we're each going to be a villain guess which ones <laughs> guys <laughs> Look at what even is this what even uh, is this i mean can you even tell who i am Who's Anthony? <laughs> this is terrifying. I'm promise I'm smiling, but I look like I'm still shocked. <laughs> it's the eyebrows. <laughs> so funny. I am. I've got the little spot here. Poor unfortunate soul. <laughs> what does your? What does? Um, he, does he, he doesn't have a song, really, does he? Doesn't any. Um, no. Just sleep for a thousand years. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we've got these on. Ursula and Melissa. <laughs> You just look so weird. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. So, I am yeah, shocked. Yeah, you look like a permanent oh. state of <laughs> shock. Oh, but these glamorous lights are up, don't they? They're quite nice. Yeah, it doesn't stick because of my beard. Yeah. My hair. My hair's on my chinny chin chin. So, we're just going to leave these on now for maybe like 10 minutes or so. I can already feel I mean, it's nice and it's a nice feeling. And, uh, I guess. You go! <laughs> So, <laughs> we meet again. <laughs> oh god. You will sleep for 1,000 years with a thingy prick thing. <gasps> the, the spinning wheel. <gasps> Aurora, you are asleep. <laughs> and let me just look down and it's just fall off as well. It's coming off. It's coming off. Look at like this melted face. I am melting. It's melting. It started to. <laughs> Alphabet! Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's like, oh. And we've got the Anthony beautiful back. prince. <laughs> it's like Beauty and the Beast. Time for Act 2. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go and take this off as well. Oh, it's been it's been yes, hilarious. It's it, what is even darling, it's like do you realize it's 1 40 in the morning? <laughs> Today has been a long day, but it's been a lot of fun. I'm gonna go and wash this off in the bathroom actually i'm just going to end the vlog here as well so if you want to part watch part two day two make sure you subscribe that should be coming up soon thank you for watching though it's been a long day it's been really fun thank you too and then you over there as well do you want to give a little bye bye see you soon see you soon i'm going to take this off so you can remember what my face looked like i'll see you in tomorrow's vlog bye bye